What's going on, YouTube? Fine, it's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. And all right, y'all heard how I just said YouTube? You feel me? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. That's how we talk. But man, yesterday something caught my attention. The Shade Room posted some Baltimore rappers, basically saying we got the ugliest accent in the United States. And you feel me? It rubbed people the wrong way. Say Cheese posted it first, and basically he got mad because. The rappers he posted basically said he can't come to Baltimore, you feel me? He banned. Now, let me just say this. We do get criticized a lot from the way we talk. I remember when I first moved to Atlanta, I used to go through the drive through to order food and stuff like that. And they really act like they didn't know what I was saying. They act like I was from a foreign country, and it used to frustrate me. So I used to make my wife lean over and order the food for me, you feel me? And it's crazy because I feel with Say Cheese saying, he basically saying, when I posted y'all, y'all got mad. Y'all say y'all was going to do this to me, do that to me. I can't come to Baltimore. But when the Shade Room posted y'all, y'all feel like y'all made it or whatever. Now, shout out to King Cash is 2020 because I seen him post this story, and I just wanted to touch on this. All right, now, in our city, you feel me, it's a lot of talent. You know, I grew up around people that rap. I used to rap. And like, you know, everybody say, we do talk a little different, you feel me? So... That kind of do shine light a little bit on the city and make people really be like, man, I don't understand what they saying, so we ain't going to sign them and stuff like that. And it's a messed up thing to kind of get blackballed from. But you got people from Baltimore that made it. R.I.P. Lil Schooled Up Next, you feel me? He was on his way out. You know, you got Drew Hill. You know, even though they singers, you can't really hear their accent in the music, you feel me? But I just feel like, man, we can't help the way we talk. You know what I mean? We was born like that. I say two. We say yo. We say yurt. You know what I mean? We just talk like that. I don't know, you know, why it's like that. The whole DMV talk a little different from everybody else. If you go to D.C., they talk a little different. You go to Virginia, they talk a little different. In Baltimore, we definitely got our own slang. If you ain't from there, pretty much, you probably ain't going to know what people saying when you go there. But I feel what Say Cheese was saying. We do got to stick together and show each other love. It shouldn't be like that. Because at the end of the day, he was just making a post. You see what I'm saying? And he felt like he shouldn't be threatened for making a post. But then when the Shade Room posted, he ain't getting no threats. But I just think people in Baltimore are frustrated because it's a hard city to make it out of. And we do want that light shed on us. You know, we want to be great, too. We want to get money, too. And when people not paying attention or people not trying to listen to your music... Because of your accent, it get frustrated. You know, I got a lot of Baltimore artists that hit me in my um my email. You know, I'm about to start posting their music real soon, probably this week. Because I just want people to be heard. And that ain't just Baltimore. People from all over. Everybody need an opportunity. Everybody need a chance. But yeah, man, the city always had a dark cloud over it. You feel me? Like, people always been trying to make it out. People always trying to be great. But it seems like it's always something that pull us back. Rather, it's our reputation for being real cruddy, real grimy dudes, you know what I mean? Or rather it's the accent or stuff like that. So I just think that was like a ticking time bomb. So when he posted that, it made them mad. But when the Shade Room posted it, you know, it kind of went viral. So they was like, man, you know, we on now. And I feel what he's saying, you know, black man, we shouldn't be coming at each other like that. You feel me? He actually posted the music. So, I mean, either way, he was giving them a shout out. But, man, I just wanted to talk about this, man. Anybody from Baltimore, y'all know how it is, man. That's just how we talk. Like, we can't control that. We can't help that. I appreciate y'all for listening to me. I know sometimes y'all probably got to listen a little harder to understand what I'm saying. But, you know, that's just the way we talk. That's how we was raised, you know. But let me know what y'all think about this situation. Leave your comments below. If you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. We still on that Race to 10K family. Be sure to share these videos. Check out the links in the description. Check out the older videos. Love, fam. I'm out.